politics that's now erupted over India's G20 presidency. Congress communications in charge. Jairam Ramesh has put out a tweet on this. He says, and I quote, G20, a grouping of 19 major economies and the Euro European Union, was set up in 1999. Since 2008, an annual summit is held in each member country in turn. Each country gets a chance and India will be hosting the summit in 2023. It's certainly to be welcomed like similar summits held earlier. The non-aligned summit of over 100 countries took place in New Delhi in 1983, followed by the Commonwealth Summit. The 2023 summit will, of course, be milked by the world's greatest event manager for the Lok Sabha elections and later, and, and in fact, will later distract people from real issues that prevails in the country. This is basically Jairam Ramesh of the Congress Gaurav already, uh, you know, uh, claiming or jumping the gun to say that the BJP is trying to claim credit for leading the G20 summit, while Jairam Ramesh trying to make, uh, you know, make people aware that this is basically how India takes its turn. This is how it happens. Uh, and now that India has its turn, India is going to be hosting the G20 summit in 2023. But the world's greatest event manager for the Lok Sabha elections, will be taking credit for this and will deflect real issues to gain people's trust and their votes. Basically making it look like BJP is now trying to take claim uh, or, or uh, you know, gloat over India hosting the G20. So, Jairam Ramesh trying to uh, educate the people of India that if you think this is Modi's do, it's not. It's basically as per procedure, this is India's turn. How would you look at this? This kind of comment at a time when India is really making its way globally, uh, hobnobbing with global leaders, really means that much trade and business for India. I mean, why do we have to look at it negatively every time? This is a moment of pride for India that we are hosting the G20 summit. What's the point in pointing fingers at the BJP saying you're taking credit? Well, they should, if anything. So, uh, you know, you, you've answered the question, but, uh, you know, we're a, we're a democracy and we're a powerful democracy. Um, and it is the opposition's job, uh, you know, to, to, uh, to point certain things out uh, to the government and for the government uh, to defend its side. And, of course, the two political parties, uh, the BJP and the Congress, to fight it out politically. 